Welcome back to RimWorld. I believe this is episode 7. And Lawrence here just finished making the silver sword. Please. Oh nice. It's superior. Oh that, that totally makes me happy. I don't know how all of these stats relate to one another. So let's see. If, do they tell us anything? Oh, they do tell us stuff. So it's damage is 20. Two and a half second cooldown. Okay. It's a pretty sword. I'm, I'm guessing it's a pretty sword. Melee agility. Multiplier on handling speed in melee combat. So I guess we just have the flat 2.5 second cooldown, I'm guessing. And we get a bonus from our material and the quality to the blunt damage and okay so that's interesting we have a negative or not negative but a penalty to our sharp attacks because it's made out of silver which is weird so I guess silver is better for blunt weapons I'm gonna imagine. I don't know. Where's cat? Let's get cat over here. Can't find cat. New girl. Where's the new girl? Seriously? Seriously. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm super blind. Alright, let's go ahead and go equip this longsword. And I want to check out the stats of that shiv real quick. So the longsword does 20 damage. This shiv did 8 damage. Attacked a little quicker though. And has a penalty to the sharp multiplier as well. That's interesting. But it looks like the sword will be a much better weapon for her. Hopefully she will cut off many pirates heads with this amazing sword that Lawrence has crafted for her. We have an iguana wandering through the middle of our camp. Hello, lunch. Thank you, Andy. Is there anything up here we can eat? I'm just kind of clicking and dragging the hunt order. Yep, not too much going on. A group is visiting the colony. That's okay. Well, I'm really happy that that sword worked out the way it did. It could have been... A lot worse like a lot worse colonist needs treatment excuse me oh you're hunting that's what you're doing are you okay you got bit in the right leg and your right eye was bitten out like that just happened why why are you good at hunting I shouldn't say why I should say how how are you good at hunting I mean, I guess it says you're good at hunting because you're amazing at your melee skill, but you just lost your eye to a beetle. You should definitely go to the hospital. So now we need a bionic eye. Oh, and it looks like we recruited his name, Ian. Ian the chef. I don't want you to go hunting. No one else hunts, okay? Just people with guns. You guys hunt. That's it. You can help warden, sure. You can help repair and construct things. You refuse to haul and clean, that's alright I guess. Where are you? You are right here. Let's check you out. Pretty good at melee. Good at cooking. Traits are slothful. You work 30% slower, that's not super great. Dalky is not that great at cooking, but is... Who, who, are, who are our cooks? Wow, that was a lot harder than it should have been to say. So, I guess, Ian, you're the man. Dalky, we don't need you to cook anymore. You can go back to helping with mining. Actually, I don't want you to mine in case something bad happens, because you're probably our best doctor. And let's see what we need to do a lavish meal. I'm just curious. We need cooking of 10. Okay, so we can't do that yet. So, Ian, buddy, do we have anything that you can wear? You are wearing pants, right? You have pants, at least. Are you good at shooting? You're, you're okay at shooting. 
have have a shotgun, Ian. And a cowboy hat. Oh wait, you're you're wearing the cowboy hat, so we're supposed to be selling. Don't wear the cowboy hat, you're wearing my money. Give it back. Give it back. Alright, well, we're growing, and we have visitors. I think I'm going to pause the recording, set up a little house for Ian to live in, and bring you back when something exciting happens. So, I'll be back in a bit. Alright, welcome back. Not too much has happened. Got our little house built. I've built a few sandbags just for some extra cover spread around our town. Try not to build them out too far so they won't be able to get used against me. Um, we had a camel go crazy and our turret took care of it pretty quickly and now we have a group of pirates drop pods nearby that will prepare and then attack. Okay and gulp. Um, so we got some molotovs a couple M24s like four of them five of them it's like some Uzis, pistols, M16 shotgun a little bit scared not gonna lie don't have enough metal to build a new turret but I think we should be able to hold them off especially since we got a few more people and it looks like they're not waiting like the game said they're just gonna attack so nope they're waiting nearby alright so this is what's gonna happen Truby, buddy, you're over here. And Jonah, you are. Let's put you. Okay, let's let's antagonize them a little bit. So let's set up. So Truby, you can be up here, and then we'll set up. Hmm. Sorry if you see that origin overlay pop up. Where's Lawrence? Is he not in this pile of people? Am I missing him? I don't see him. Lawrence, buddy. Are you out hunting? You need to get up here, like, now. Alright, well, we'll have Dalky with the M16 set up back here. Andy with his charge rifle will be up here for Jonah for some supports. Cat, I'm not sure about yet. Andy, can you shoot? You're okay at shooting. Um, go, go get a shotgun. This is going to be kind of close quarters. Go get a shotgun. They're popping off shots now. You have your shotgun. We're going to bring you back up here. Keys, the designer. Bring you up here. Cat, don't know yet. Lawrence, can, can your fatness please move a little quick? Alright, you know what? Drop the camel. You're going too slow. Okay, luckily we've only angered the one person. Our trees are on fire, which I'm completely aware of. And yes, it's unfortunate, but... Let's have you wait up here to fill in this hole. Have you even been hit yet? You got your right foot shot off, that's good. I'm happy about that. Okay, that was an amazing shot. What did you do? Right in his gut. Okay. Alright, nice. They finished him off. So hopefully some other guy will step forth be like, hey, what's going on over here? Hopefully it'll rain so that fire gets put out. And he's down right off the bat. Come on, bring on the next one. Let's go. We can do this one at a time, all day long. Nice, getting some good hits on him. A little worried for Jonah. Gonna move him. Kind of worried about that fire too. Alright, things are going well so far. That, that fire is making me nervous. That was another hit on Jonah, so you know what buddy, you're, you're done. You're done. Who can doctor that isn't super important? Um, Keys, I believe you. Actually, you know what? Dalky? Where's Dalky? Dalky, I just gave you a new gun. You still can't shoot though, can you? No. No, you can't. So this is what's going to happen. You're going to drop the M16. And you're going to go in here. And where is Ian? Ian is already here. That's good. 
Ian, you equip the M16. And I want you up here and Lawrence down here. Because Truby's going to need to fall back pretty much now. Yep. Alright, Dalkey, can you... I don't want you to arrest him. I want you to prioritize feeding and then healing. No. Yeah, do, do these things. Alright, we have some good choke points set up. So hopefully this will work out in our favor. He walks back to this corner and he's got the shotgun going on. He's taken around. They are charging. The Molotovs are real. Already got one down. Alright, Lawrence needs to move back. Why can't I move you? Lawrence, buddy. I need you to not be there. Why can't I move you, buddy? I don't understand why I can't move you. It's because you're on fire? Can I tell you to not be on fire? Alright, let's fall back a little bit. Get behind the sandbags. They're using them against us, which is what I was worried about. Everything's on fire. Fires are spreading. Stuff's happening. Don't walk around that corner. Keys is there. Keys is missing like a champ. Nice, we held them off. Get out of here. Get out of here. That is amazing. Alright. It's okay. Just forget everything. Cat, you were completely useless, but I'm okay with that. Glad we expanded our hospital when we did. So, let's see how many we killed. We killed one, two... Three, four. We got four corpses here, and we killed. Oh, there's one person that's alive up here. All right, you feed Jonah because he's literally starving. No, don't stop putting out the fires. Is everyone just like well, we need food? And okay, I guess we can let our our home burn down so you can go get yourself a burrito. I guess that's acceptable. I'm. Glad I started researching the cremation, because it looks like we're gonna be needing that soon. Cat, why don't you go go capture this person? So it doesn't just die in the desert. Actually, you know what? How about you strip him first and then capture him? Now we have a new power helmet. Which I think I'm gonna give to you, since you have a sword. I would like all of these guys to be stripped so we can sell their stuff still have fires going I'm not sure why we're losing power up here I guess one of the conduits burned down oh the wall we're missing some walls Actually that, oh, there's one right there. Okay, that should fix it. That was uh, not, not a bad little fight. Let's check everyone out. Andy, you lose, you lost your nose. I think that's old. Got some gunshot wounds. Jonah is doing okay. Lawrence got shot in the kidney. Cat is of course fine. Ease is fine, Truby's fine, and Ian still has cataracts, so we need to get some bionic eyes for him. I like how all of you are going to sleep when your house is still on fire. There you go, Jonah. You put out that tiny fire and go eat you a burrito. That is totally going to distract me. Still on fire. Can can one of you go go put out put out the fire, please? Fire fire, please. Is that not part of our home zone? It's not. Okay. Lesson learned. 
All right. All right. So we got ourselves some weapons as well, which is always nice. We can definitely sell these. Have more armor, which is great because Ian needed some armor. Our graves are full. I think we're just gonna build the. We'll build a little area inside this cave for the crematorium. I believe it's three wide. So we'll just put something in like that and then we can run power over to it and we'll be good to get rid of some of these bodies. Alright, where's Ian? Ian the chef. You now get purple armor. I mean, no, there's not purple for you to wear over here. And you have an M16, which that, you know, I'm fine with. And you totally get the orange hat. That's, that's okay with me. Everything cleaned up. Now, you need to decide who's going to get this power helmet. Keys. It looks like you're going to go move it. So who's... I guess I'll give it to her. Okay, everyone just figure out what you're doing first. That way I'll feel a little more comfortable with her going out and doing some fighting. Kind of want Lawrence to actually wear that so it matches his armor. Yes, I went there. And then Kat can have that one. And we definitely need to haul these away. Crematorium has finished, which is amazing. And I guess we'll research some geothermal power. Do crypto sleep caskets in case we need to put someone in cryo. Local iguana has gone mad. That's never super great. Which one is it? It's you. Yeah, psychotic rain. Everyone's going to sleep, so. Can you just come shoot it? Thank you. You may now go back to sleep. <laughs> Seems like everyone's doing fine. That was quite an attack. I'm quite pleased that we held that off. Okay, so. Who still has what weapons? Dalky, you don't have your weapon at all. Where's your charge rifle, buddy? No. I didn't give you the charge rifle. I took your weapon away. So you can have an M16 and keys. Is there another M16 for you to have somewhere? Nowhere? Okay, I lied. Dalky, I'm, I'm taking your gun away again. <laughs> Just, you can't have it. You can't be trusted. Keys can, can have it. Alright, so Truby's got the 24, the M24, Jonah's an M24, got an LMG, a sword, Andy should have a charge rifle. Sly, I didn't even look at. You have a shattered spine. Hmm. Are you worth anything? You're worth quite a bit, with even with a shattered spine, apparently. So we'll see if we can sell him. That sounds super mean, but yeah, we'll see if we can sell him. Ian has an M16. I kind of want to give him a helmet, but at the same time, I like his cowboy hat. It makes me happy. Let's go ahead and build our crematorium out of... What do we got? What do you, what do you need? 150? I guess we'll use marble. Put that in there. Run some power to it. Hopefully we had we had just enough resources to get all of that done. That is incredible. So now we can start burning some corpses instead of burying them. And we'll actually deconstruct that. Move you guys off to the side. I 
thing takes a long time to build. Wow. You're just gonna give up like that, buddy? Alright, what other weapons do we got? We have some more sniper rifles. We have a lot of sniper rifles. Hmm. Bill, add Bill. Uh, cremate corpse. Do forever. And we'll say 30? No, we can't say 30. We'll say 55. I don't know why these camels were taken to not our freezer. Oh, hello. I definitely wish I had noticed that sooner. Wow, that is super important. You get up. Go. We need materials. Oh my goodness. This is terrible. Oh man. This is terrible. I wish I had noticed that sooner. Alright, everyone just go mine. We need this cooler built. As soon as possible. Looks like some of our meat's gonna spoil if we don't get it built. Come on, come on. Load it up with steel. We need the steel. Haul the steel. Build with the steel. Nice, we got it built. Let's drop you down to 30. And you have power. Did we get it in time? Says it's not refrigerated. Come on, we're getting in. The nice, we got it just in time. Let's haul this trash away. Some of that hauled away. Kind of sucks that we lost those, but all right. Bills add bill. Um. We'll have this graveyard here. Actually, we'll do buried corpses as well. And we'll save this graveyard for our colonists. Just wish we would have some sort of trade ship. Cat needs a bionic eye. Go ahead and mine a little bit more. I think we had some gold up here that I would like to get to. And was there silver as well? I think we got all of the silver from up here. There's some steel. More steel. More steel. There's some silver down here. That I'd like to work on getting as well. So right now, we'll turn off buried corpses. We'll just turn the whole thing off. Mysterious blight has destroyed our crops. That's okay, because we got our freezer built back up in time. And I do want to deconstruct these beds and go ahead and build steel hospital beds. carpet research so we can give these guys some carpet if we wanted to let's give you guys some red carpet around your beds again I apologize if you can see the origin overlay pop-ups I'm preloading battlefield hardline open beta and I don't really know what to do about you maybe we'll just give you like a nice give you a nice like blue rug 
right in the middle. I wish there were more in terms of decorations that you could put in. But, yeah, just make do with what you got. This isn't looking too bad. If I'm being completely honest, I was kind of hoping for another raider attack of some sort before the end of this episode, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Just keep mining our silver. What do we got? Trade ship, exotic goods trader. Well, that's nice. And an eclipse has begun. That's okay. We have turbines. Let's see what you guys have. Let's go ahead and sell all of our gold. We have a lot of gold. We have a lot of gold. <laughs> okay. It's almost all of their money. Wow. Alright, let's go ahead and sell off some of our rifles, keep the helmets, get rid of some of this clothing that we don't need. I definitely think we don't need all of these cloth pants. I'll keep I'll keep one in case we recruit that guy. Actually no, we're not trying to recruit him because he doesn't have a spine. So keep the helmets. I'm gonna get rid of that just because it's purple. Pistols, Uzis, more clothing. This guy just does not have... Do you have anything I want? You have a bionic eye. That's awesome. That is truly, truly awesome. Um, do you have medicine? Of course you don't have medicine. What was I thinking? So let's go ahead and keep selling some stuff. Don't want Molotovs. They're dangerous. We have a lot of clothing. We have a lot of clothing <laughs> okay so you have cooking neuro trader I'm not interested in that kinda wanna get bionics and just make Andy crazy so he gets super happy hmm well we can definitely afford it so let's get a couple arms and a couple legs. I'm not sure if this claw says it's a hand replacement. How much is that? Okay, we'll get a couple legs and we'll get three eyes. Yeah, we'll go ahead and get him two claws. <laughs> we'll make Andy happy. And we're still gonna make some money. Definitely need to make some more clothes once we get some more cloth going. I might actually increase our cloth production a little bit. Um, in fact, I think I will. Let's go ahead and do a new growing zone. Do one right here. And we will grow cotton. And let's also get a growing zone going for... Devil's Strand. It's like a little mushroom that can be turned into cloth, I believe. So let's grow some Devil's Strand. Fragile Mushroom. Silk Net of the highest grade. So yeah, we'll grow some of that up there as well. Hmm. And then Andy, buddy, if I'm remembering correctly, you want to be a bionic. Well, guess what? Today, you get a left leg, a right leg, <laughs> a left eye, a right eye, a left shoulder, a right shoulder, a left claw, and a right claw. And cats, I believe we have one more eye for cats. You need your right eye replaced, bionic eye for the right eye. Hopefully we have enough medicine to get all of this done. It's kind of dangerous. I mean, the raiders are attacking more in force now. 
Well, I guess you guys are just gonna do it in their rooms. That's kind of interesting. I know Andy's like, I I need the hospital bed. Cat's just like, nah. You can come take my eye out in my room. All right, so your vision is enhanced. That's great, Andy, buddy. Now I wonder how many medicines it'll take. So we have 13 medicine. I wonder if we need to do a new one every single time. And I wonder if this is going to make him super happy. Okay, it looks like we need a new one every time. Oh wow, he's getting a nice boost. Hmm. A surgeon is visiting. I guess he only gets one mood boost. I know he's not capable of walking. It's okay. There we go. Getting his legs going. Get him some claws. I wish this was visually reflected in the game. He would just be this giant mech monster person. Need to figure out what we can do about this guy's spine. Um, we'll go friendly, friendly chat him. Visitors visiting as they do. Andy can move around. Check out Andy. He is just straight up bionic. Legs, arms, hands. No, what happened to your hands, buddy? Didn't I give you? What happened to the claws? They're still over here. Oh, can you not do? I guess you can't do the claws. If you've done the other ones. Okay, well that's fine. We learned something. Apparently we have a purple Kevlar helmet. Hmm. Does anyone else want some claws? Maybe we'll save those. Maybe we'll trade them back. I don't know, maybe we'll give them to Cat. So she'll be deadly even without a sword. Those claws... Melee damage is 17, that's almost as good as her sword, which is kind of crazy. Still kind of holding out for one more raider attack. Not really researching anything in particular, just kind of haphazardly clicking. But I don't think we're going to get another Raider attack. So, this has been an interesting episode. We had a pretty huge attack that we held off using our nicely created choke points. Andy became almost entirely bionic. There's some food. Is that close? We'll go get the food. And we managed to get a new eye for Cat. Our silver sword turned out pretty awesome. And we made quite a bit of money, even though we did waste, I wouldn't say waste, we spent a lot of it on the bionic parts. But everyone's outfitted quite nicely, Kevlar and um, helmets all around, pretty good supply of weapons we got between us, sniper rifles, LMGs, assault rifles, things are going well. So hopefully we, we stay alive, but you know at the same time, one giant battle could be kind of fun. I'll probably keep mining, maybe build up a couple extra turrets, but I like trying to rely on my, my colonists more than turrets. But yeah, that's going to be the end of this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and have a good one.